Now I'm going to show you how to do some linear equations where there's a division bar involved. The division bar is just another way of showing a division. We often see it in fractions as well. It's the same thing. Uh, the very first question I've got here is 2x over 5 is equal to negative 6. So um, what am I going to get rid of first? I need to get the x by itself. I need to, I need to get rid of either the 2 or the 5 first. Now this I could rewrite this as 2 times x divided by 5. And in bod mass, you do um, brackets, order. The division and multiplication happen at the same time, but you do them from left to right. So the last thing that was happening here, sorry, that should be a divide. The last thing that is happening there is a division. So. I need to get rid of that 5 that's being divided by doing the, the uh, inverse operation. I need to multiply by 5. So if I do that on both sides, if I multiply this side by 5 and that side by 5, remembering that I've got to keep it, uh, keep it equal, then that 5 there and that 5 there will cancel out and I'll be left with 2x being equal to negative 30. You're a smart person so you should be able to see by inspection what the answer is going to be here. 2 times x equals negative 30, so that means um, x is going to be half of negative 30. x will equal negative 15. In the second question I've got here, it's slightly different. The first one had a multiplication at the top, this one's got an addition. Now, the thing is, if I were to write this out, I would write it as x plus 5 in brackets divided by 6. And the reason I would do that is because the things that are happening above the division bar are happening before the division is happening. Okay, so if I were to write it out longhand I would write it like that. So you cannot take away the 5 first and then um, multiply by 6. We've got to get rid of that 6 first. So the inverse of dividing by 6 is multiplying by 6. 6 times that equals negative 1 times 6. So if I do that, the 6's will cancel out on the left. 6 and 6. I'm left with x plus 5 being equal to negative 6. So maybe you can do that by inspection, but maybe you're a bit squirrely with the negative numbers. So let's just do this methodically. If I'm getting rid of a positive 5, I need to take 5 from both sides. So x will be, sorry, x. So x plus 5 take 5 will equal negative 6 take 5. Making sure I'm keeping both sides the same by doing the same thing to both sides. So they cancel out. A positive 5 and a negative 5 cancel each other out. And x is then equal to negative 6 take away another 5. So negative 6 is down here on the number line, taking another 5 away, it's getting more negative, okay? So the answer is negative 11. Last one up here, a little bit different again. We've got uh, a number here being added to a fraction, or basically an x divided by 3. So in this case, x divided by 3 is going to be happening before it gets added to the negative 1, because of bottom mass, bottom mass, the division happens before the addition. So I need to get rid of that one first if I'm working backwards. I've got a negative 1 being added to x plus 3. Adding a negative number is the same as x over 3 take 1 equals 7. Can you see how that is? Because if I'm adding a negative number, really that's just the same as taking away, adding and taking together, just taking. So what I need to do here is add that one to both sides. So plus one here, plus one there. So x over 3 equals 8. And then to get rid of that negative, no, to get rid of that 3 that I'm dividing into the x, I need to multiply by 3 on both sides. So I'm going to go multiply by 3, multiply by 3. They cancel out and I'm left with x being equal to 24. Okay, so that worked out nicely.